Great architecture was once in abundance in America. Buildings that would lift and inspire a sense of pride in where one was from. Upon the dawn of the auto revolution many of these great landmarks were raised. A symbol of a city and a point of pride destroyed for more parking. Many caught fire and never built again. Some were demolished to make room for a larger, more efficient building purely functional but void of character. This was so widespread in the US and Canada that an example could be found in almost any city. In this video I'm going to focus on four examples of great architecture from the past. The Pierce County Courthouse was constructed to serve as the seat of government for Pierce County. The original courthouse was completed in 1893 and designed in the Richardsonian Romanesque style. This grand structure was a point of pride for Tacoma residents until its demolition in 1959. The plan stipulated that the armory next to the building would not be impacted but the courthouse would be demolished to make room for parking. Construction on the new county city building began in 1956 and was finished in 1959. With the new county city building complete, the life of the 1893 county courthouse came to an end. Citizens were divided about demolition of the historic building. Editorials and letters in local newspapers were filled with opinions on both sides. In the May 3, 1959, Tacoma News Tribune, two letters were published that captured opposing sides of the debate. Demolished into the rubble, said Tacoma resident Mr. Rickert, also will be the sacrifices the people of that day put forth so they could have a courthouse second to none and one that would stand a thousand years, a building they were able to stand back and view with pride. When I was a boy, it was a great event to get the chance once a year to go to town, with dad and stand with mouth agape at the awe-inspiring structure called the courthouse, while dad solemnly paid the taxes. Marion County Courthouse in Indianapolis, Indiana the Marion County Courthouse, located in Indianapolis, Indiana, has a rich history dating back to the 19th century. The original courthouse, completed in 1876, was a stunning example of the Second Empire architectural style. It was designed by Isaac Hodgson and named one of the most beautiful courthouses in the United States. In the 1950s, as an increasing number of city and county offices found it necessary to rent space outside the city hall and the courthouse, Interest grew in consolidating the city and county offices into a single, new edifice, the new building. Designed by the Indianapolis firm Wright, Porteous & Associates, was a 28-story rectangular, windowed box that one architectural critic called, almost a negative achievement. Jacksonville's Post Office on Forsyth Street The 1895 Post Office and Courthouse, left, was located at the intersection of Forsyth and Hogan Streets. 311 West Monroe Street, right was completed during the 1930s as a replacement for the late 19th century building. That towering structure at Forsyth and Hogan Streets housed the city's post office and most of its federal office space. At the time of its 1895 completion, Jacksonville had less than 30,000 residents and was significantly smaller than both Savannah and Charleston. By 1930, the city had grown to 130,000, becoming the Low County's largest. With the original post office building being too small to accommodate the city's rapid growth, plans were developed for two new post office facilities as a replacement. The Milwaukee Union Depot was constructed in 1886 to serve as a central hub for various railroad lines operating in the city. It was designed by architect E. Townsend Mix in the Romanesque revival architectural style, featuring prominent arches, towers, and intricate detailing. 
the depot was located at the intersection of Everett Street and South 2nd Street, near the Milwaukee River. For many years, the Milwaukee Union Depot played a significant role in the city's transportation infrastructure, facilitating the movement of passengers and goods across the region. However, with the decline in rail travel and the rise of other transportation modes, the depot faced challenges in the mid-20th century. In 1966, the Milwaukee Road, one of the major railroads serving the depot, ceased passenger operations. This led to a decrease in activity at the Milwaukee Union Depot, and plans were made to demolish the building. Despite efforts by preservationists and railroad enthusiasts to save the depot, it was ultimately demolished in 1968. The demolition of the Milwaukee Union Depot marked the end of an era for rail travel in the city, and the loss of a significant architectural landmark. The station faced the Fourth Ward Park, since renamed Ziedler Park, which afforded both a vantage point for viewing the station and a bucolic respite from the mechanized industrial culture of the railroad. The station served passengers from its opening in 1886 until it was replaced by Union Station now Milwaukee Intermodal Station, on August 4, 1965. The station was damaged by fire a week after closing and raised the following year. Our cities are adorned with architectural treasures, each telling a unique story of our cultural heritage, craftsmanship, and design sensibilities. These buildings are more than mere structures, they are living testaments to our past, our values, and the spirit of our communities. Yet, in the face of rapid urbanization and a relentless drive for modernization, many of these architectural gems are being lost forever. The architectural landscape of our cities has changed, with the proliferation of standardized glass and steel structures that often lack character and fail to connect with the local context. While progress and innovation are important, we must not neglect the invaluable contributions that our traditional buildings make to our sense of place, identity and overall well-being. Preserving our traditional buildings is not just about nostalgia or sentimentality, it is about embracing sustainable development practices, fostering community pride, and promoting cultural tourism. These buildings possess a timeless elegance, constructed with craftsmanship and attention to detail that are often unmatched in today's construction practices. They offer a sense of permanence and durability, creating a lasting legacy for future generations to admire and cherish. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more upcoming content.